Well, joining me in the studio now is my friend Steph Johnson from Barnabas Aid. Morena. Kia ora. Kia ora. How are you? Yeah, good. Good. Happy, how are you? Good. Happy New Year. Yeah. It's Halfway been a through minute. Feb, but I haven't seen you since probably December. Yeah, it was December last time. Yeah. yeah. So uh, looking forward to catching up with you. We always have updates about uh, the work that you guys do with the persecuted church around the world. But I'm excited to hear that you've got a praise report for I us do. today. I do. Woo-hee! Really, really, really cool. It's cool. Yeah. I love praise reports. I do too. I think they're, you know, next to chocolate and, <laughs> you know, Jesus. Yeah. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, when we hear praise reports, that's when we, we, we're reminded that prayer makes a difference, right? Because Absolutely. Because there are all these people all around the world who are – being persecuted for their faith and, you know, the different stories that you bring to us each month. But, and to be honest, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming, but mm. when you hear what we're about to hear. Yeah, exactly. I like that you're face. putting a little bit of a, you know, mystery to it. Like, ooh, got something to wait for. <laughs> now, if you were TV, you would cut to like a commercial break right now. Ah, yeah. yeah so I prefer radio. I do too. I do too. <laughs> Although saying too. that. This is probably going to end up on giant TV as well. <laughs> it is. Yeah, so, about that. Mauritania in yeah, northwest well Africa. I love um, having us say uh, countries that are pretty hard to say. Yeah. And most of the time, like these ones that people don't hear about. I mean, when was the last time you talked about Mauritania? In a I, I've never talked about it. That's yeah. why before we went on air, I asked you how I pronounced it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hey, I had to look it up too. So. You know, shame it. No shame in that game. Yeah, but yeah, it's a it's a really interesting country, like Western Western um, Africa country. So when you look at a map, it's kind of right by Mali and um, over by the Sahara, like over there. So very deserty kind of climate. Um, 100% Islamic. So their country is run by Sharia law. Uh, very very few um, secret Christians mm-hmm. living in that area, and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today is a praise report of what what happened in Muratina recently with these Christians that we're praying for. So um, basically, I'm just going to cut right to it because I'm just excited right now. But, you know, we were usually with Muritania, you hear about uh, tragedies like killings. And it's one of the countries in the world that actually will kill you. Um, it has a death penalty if you convert from Christianity. And, the, and they hold that. You know, can you believe that? It's like the death penalty if you yes. decide to become a Christian. Yeah, yeah. So obviously people, if they do become Christians, which obviously they do, they try and keep it. Yeah, quiet, they kind of. They? Yeah, I mean, I, I would. Low. I love you, Jesus, but absolutely. I want to. I want to live. I mean, you got to be smart about it, right? Yeah. And that's what these Christians they want to live to tell the story of who Christ is, so more people come. It's, you know, when you live in these countries, it's not like you want to stand and shout from the rooftops, although your spirit wants to. But you know, you got to be smart about it. And with these Christians, um, they uh, showed a baptismal video on social media. And, you know, I don't know why they showed it on social media. I'm not really sure why they did that because it is meant to be secret. Yeah. But regardless, um, 15 Christians got um, arrested. And the praise report is, is that the government basically, when they stood trial, they said, look, just kind of keep it on the download. Don't, don't spread this don't far make a big and deal about Yeah. It. And then they let them go. Wow. Which in a, in a state where you, or a country where you can be killed because of that reason, they were actually let go. And so that is a huge praise report this morning, massive praise report. And so I think for us, we give thanks for that as Christians, but also, you know, we we keep um, keep them in our prayers. And when I was reading this morning in, in um, Acts, it was ta- that story about when Paul gets taken before the council because they had healed a lame beggar. And, you know, the council basically comes back and says, look, just keep it on the down low, keep it quiet. Basically what the Mauritanian government said to these Christians Mm. and they said, and Peter, you know, you remember the story and I'm paraphrasing here pretty badly, but Peter says, look, we obey God, not man. And basically I feel like the Christians in Mauritania have that same kind of, you know, yes, be smart about it. But when the time and the opportunity comes, speak the word without hesitation, without fear and without um, shrinking back, you know, that's what it, and for me, that's not just a praise report for them, but a, an encouragement to my soul to really not care so much about what people think about me, but to share the word of God no matter what, mm, you know? To not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I, I think I've read that somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, and you know, the, the other thing I was thinking about this morning is I got a couple text messages because I always tell people when I come on the radio, you know, my prayer warriors, mm. just so I speak clearly and, you know, don't say anything I shouldn't say. 
Um, but, you know, that I was thinking about that and I was really praising God for that this morning. Like the fact that we have people in our life that we know we can count on to pray for us. Mm. And we know that when they pray, the prayer of a righteous person is power, powerful and effective, Amen. you know? Um, so that's what I feel like praying for Muritania this morning, um, that a country we probably haven't heard about, maybe don't know where it is, um, but there's a small number of Christians there who want to live their life for Christ and bring others into that truth. Mm. Why don't you lead us in prayer, Steph? Right, I'd love to. Okay. Yeah. Um, God, thank you so much for just calling on this us on this journey with you to to disciple and to lead others to you, to the truth, the life, and the way. And so, Lord, uh, we lift up especially our Christian brothers and sisters in Muritania who unfortunately can't freely go to a church and worship on a Sunday morning um, like we just did this past weekend or, you know, they meet in secret and do things very quietly. But, Lord, we pray for them that you will continue to strengthen them as a church, that you continue to um, just give them the the spirit of your Holy Spirit that, you know, that will praise you, worship you, and lead others to you. Lord, we just pray special blessings on them and favor, and we thank you for the government that day that said, you know what, just go about your stuff and, and didn't do anything else other than that. So thank you, Lord, for that, because I know that was you. And we thank you for the Christians around New Zealand who are praying and committed to praying for the persecuted church. Lord, may the, you make this country a part of our heart um, the same way that you look at those Christians in Muritania who are living their life for you, loud, proud, and with gusto. Um, may we continue to do that here in New Zealand and also pray for them. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Great prayer. Great praise report, Steph Johnson. Barnabas mm. Aid. Check them out online, barnabasaid.org. Steph's in with me each month for a catch up. Yeah. See you I next love that. time, my friend. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click on like, subscribe, and notifications. See you next time.